In this video, I'm going to show you how I do my product research for my eBay dropshipping stores. What's up, fellow dropshippers? Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com. And today we're going to dive into my computer and I'll show you kind of over my shoulder exactly how I do product research when I'm looking to find items to dropship on eBay. Now today we're going to be using a software that I love for product research called Zeek Analytics. And I use this every single time I'm looking for products to dropship. And you definitely don't need it to do product research, but I find that it's really, really powerful. And you'll see exactly how we use it and how it kind of supercharges our product research. So if you do end up wanting to use it, I will have my affiliate link to it underneath this video in the description. Now, Zeek Analytics does a whole lot. There are a lot of different features here, but I'll show you some of my favorites right now so you can kind of get an idea of, you know, on a daily basis, how I use this. So even though I don't drop ship a lot from Amazon anymore, I do get a lot of questions about it and how to find products to drop ship from Amazon onto eBay. So I'm going to show you how I would find products from Amazon and how I know that they're going to sell well on eBay based on the data that Zeek Analytics gives me. So what I do is I come over to Amazon, and by the way, you can apply this same concept to any supplier that you use, like Walmart or Home Depot, for instance. But here we are in Amazon. I'm going to click on the top where it says best sellers. Now, I always like to say that just because it's a best seller on Amazon or another website doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell well on eBay. But we use this as a jumping off point because what we're going to do right now is we're going to use this to find other people who are already drop shipping products from Amazon to eBay. And that's our first step, which you'll see how that works in a minute. So I'm just gonna come over to a random category here on the left. I always have good luck in how, uh, health and household. So we'll give that one a shot. And I'm looking for a random product that's not really a name brand that I think someone might try to drop ship. And the best sellers, a lot of people just come in here, they look at all the best sellers and they just list all of them up for sale on eBay. So that's why I know a lot of these will help us find other drop shippers. So here's a product right here, it's a scale. Let's go ahead and just select part of the name and I'll copy it. And I'm coming over to Zeek Analytics on the left, I'm clicking on product research and we'll plug that in and search for it. And what this is doing is it's now searching eBay to find other sellers who are selling this item with this title. And that's important because if they're using the same title, there's a good chance they're drop shipping it from Amazon onto eBay. And we see a bunch of results right here. I'm going to, let's see, select all of them and click Zeke Selection. And what this will do now is give me more information about the sellers who are selling these products. I'm gonna ignore all the stuff at the top for now. Again, all I'm interested in doing right now is finding someone else who's drop shipping. Now, I'm gonna come back over here to Amazon and open this up. I see that it's $28.88, and I like to look at the photos as well. Because anyone else who's drop shipping it is going to be using the same exact photos. And now coming over to Zeek Analytics, I like to look to see if there's someone who has this for sale at a high enough price so that I know that I could sell at the same price and still make a profit. So here, someone's selling it for $37.99. So that's a good sign to me. That means they're not just selling it for the bare minimum, they've actually marked it up enough. So this seller I'm interested in right now. And what I'll quickly do is if I click on the title, that opens them up here. And I can go through these photos and double check that they are a drop shipper. Because men, remember, that's step number one. We are looking for other drop shippers. And here, these are the exact same photos we saw on Amazon. And it's this is the price on Amazon. They've marked it up here on eBay, so yeah. They are a drop shipper right here. So this is great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scan their store to see what other products they are selling. So I'm gonna click scan seller. 
and right away I get some great information about them. For any of you who are members of my eBay dropshipping course, um, inside there I have a whole mini course about Zeek Analytics and I go into what all these numbers mean and how they can be helpful for you. But I'll skip them for now. We're just gonna go right down to the products. And what I like to see are products that are selling at least three times in the past month. And this column right here, sales, tells us how many times it's sold in the past month. So this sold six times. This one sold 22 times. Sorry, six times. This one sold six times. This one sold four times. So all these products, because they've sold at least three times, I'm going to sell them as well, right? If they've sold three times in the past month, that's a really good sign that they're going to, that they're popular right now and are going to sell. So what I can do is let's find it one that's that's well priced. So let's look at this six pack of rust um, spray or anti-rust spray. Here it is right here. And what I can then do is, what I would then do is find this item on Amazon, double check that I could sell it for the same price and still make a profit and then actually go ahead and list it myself. But assuming all that checks out, then this item is good to go. This is one that I'd be very interested in selling because it's really popular right now. Let's actually do that for you. So I'm going to find this item on Amazon. The best way to do that is to highlight a chunk of text and search for it on Google. And a quick tip for you, I think it's really important to add items into your store on a you know ongoing basis. So if that's every week for you, that's great. Ideally, every day or every other day. You wanna keep it regular. The more items you add into your store and the more regular you are about that, the more eBay is going to like that. And the results right here show that there is a listing for Amazon. So let's go ahead and open up that one. So chances are if you started on Amazon with this process by finding a random product on Amazon and then found a seller that way, there's a good chance that they are drop shipping lots of products from that supplier. But there's also the chance that they are drop shipping from other suppliers as well. So just be aware of that. In the Google results, you might see listings for Home Depot, for Walmart. In this case, it's Amazon. So let's make sure it's the right product. So we come over here on eBay. We'll do the reverse of what we did before. So we can see all the photos right here on eBay. And do they have similar photos on Amazon? Now, right away, I see what the issue is. This one is for a six pack. And this appears to be for a single. Okay, so let's try to find the six pack. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna actually put in here six pack. Let's see, I'm not seeing it. It's the same result. <laughs> All right, I'm not having a lot of a lot of luck here, which is okay. We'll find another way to find this. So another alternative, if I scroll down, let's see if there's a model number. Does not apply or item model number, here it is. So I'm actually gonna search on Google for the model number. And that worked. This is a six pack. And you see it's available in a whole bunch of different colors. And this up here is the same thing. Now, the curious thing is that these images right here, I'm not seeing these, but it's possible they made those themselves just on like Canva or something, right? All right, and they've obviously marked it up. Let's select uh, satin green apple, is that an option? Yep, so yeah, they marked it up. So yeah, we just found it. 
I would just double check that the pricing makes sense. And if it does, I would list this item up myself for sure. And, you know, with Amazon, there's lots of ways to save money on the back end as well. So I definitely be taking advantage of that as well. So cool. We found that one. That's what the process is like. Let's um, look at another one here. Let's look at um, I like things that are at least 20 bucks. This one's $120 and sold four times in the past month. That's pretty exciting. So let's take a look at that one. The higher the price is, the less you have to sell to make good money. And we'll come to the description. Do we have a model number? Let's start with the description first. I usually have better luck with that. Search Google for. And here's something on Amazon. Is this the right one? So let's look at all these images. These are the images. And here on Amazon, these look similar. Yeah. As you see, it's $87.99 here, $120 or $121 here. So it's a nice markup. And yeah, I'd be very happy drop shipping this one as well onto eBay. So let's kind of go back, take things back so you guys can understand the process some more. So we scan that seller. If this is a good seller, I would add them to my watch list. Um, but let's look at another seller now. So that one I like because they had the higher price. This person has a higher price, but they haven't sold this one. But look at their feedback, 16,000 feedback. So that tells me that they do mark their items up in price, but they still sell items because they have 16,000 feedback. Let's scan them and take a look at what they're doing. Okay, so they've done $52,000 in sales the past month. So they're doing something right there. Um, again, inside my course, I go over, over what all this means and how that's helpful. But I'm interested now seeing what they've sold in the past month under the sales column. Again, at least three times in the past month, at least 20 bucks. This one sold 300 times. Let's take a look at this, see what this is. It's a guitar case. And they're doing really well with it. I'm not convinced this person is actually a drop shipper. But let's um let's give it a shot. I've just never seen this template before. Alright, so here's their they have the yellow one here, but it's out of stock. Oh no, it's not out of stock. So that's $232. Here it's selling for $299. Again, you can make money on the back end. And it looks like they just have a really nice, clean, modern looking description here, which is pretty pretty cool to see. What is that? That must be their old profile name. So yeah, if the numbers make sense here with all the money you can make on the back end, I would definitely sell this one. But basically, that's the main way that I use Zeek Analytics for product research. As you see, it's really not that hard. We just came in here to Amazon, the best sellers, came to a random category, found a random product like this scale, and then plugged the title into the product research tab of Zeek Analytics. And that pulled up a bunch of people that were selling this product with the same name. And these are all of them right here. And then from here, we could just scan these seller stores and see, do they have items that have sold at least three times in the past month? And are they definitely drop shipping? As long as they are, you see that there's a lot of potential here. The last person sold over $50,000 a month. This seller is doing over $61,000 in the past month. You can come in here, sell these same items. Look, this person sold 14 of this item for $88. They sold 11 of this item just in the past month for $200. $42, six times in the past month for $87.35. This one is $300 and sold five times in the past month. So there's a lot of opportunity here on eBay, drop shipping from all the different suppliers. Here today we use Amazon as an example, but there's lots, lots of opportunity for all the different suppliers. Um, so it can really be this simple. Zeke Analytics makes it very simple to do. 
Um, if you guys haven't yet joined my course, eBay Dropshipping Titans, and you want to check it out, see if it's for you, I'll have it linked up in the description of this video. I only mention that because I've mentioned the course a few times in this video because inside the course, I do have a multi-video training on how to use Zeek Analytics, all the different ways that we use it. This is just one of the ways, uh, but we have a few other ways that work really well for our stores. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the description if you want to see more product research videos like this. Um, I can go more in depth. We can cover how to use the software more and do product research without the software. Just tell me what you guys want. Uh, that's what this channel is for. It's for you guys to learn. So any feedback would be really appreciated. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next video.